Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Recently, a sensational news spread in the scientific community, new unknown civilization was found in Central Asia. Read the details. For the first time, traces found by an amateur archaeologist, General Komarov, in 1885. In 1904, his excavations were continued by an American, Pompeli, and a German, Schmidt. The novelty of the discovery lies in the fact that academic science was actively glossing over the inconvenient facts that did not fit into the already available official picture of the past. After more than a hundred years, there were so many facts and discoveries that it became impossible to ignore them and unreal to attribute them to already discovered civilizations. We had to acknowledge, after more than a hundred years, On August 18, 1953, Sviatogorsk Monastery was closed to the public. On that day, restoration of Pushkin's tomb was underway. Two human skulls and bones were found in the chamber under the monument. The examination showed that the bones belonged to elderly people. Obviously, the skulls did not get here by accident. Burying the skulls in a special chamber above the crypt is part of the cult ritual, which is called the dead head. Most likely a ritual murder of unknown people was committed. The dead head is an important mystic symbol. It participates in the rite of admission to the first apprenticeship degree and its transition to the subsequent degrees. She also escorts a dead brother to the next world. Mayans depicted the dead head on tombstones and placed skulls in the grave. It is known that Pushkin was hereditary free. Members of the lodge were his father and his uncle, Vasily Lvovich. Researchers are ashamed to touch the subject. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Why do I constantly criticize academic history and cabinet scientists? For the lazy approach to dating and the stubborn desire to shove any finding and discovery into the generally accepted history by any means. During excavations at PP Pyramid II, archaeologists stumbled upon a perfectly worked lid from a sarcophagus. Later they found the sarcophagus itself split open, but even destroyed. It was a magnificent example of stone workmanship. What do historians do? They attribute the find to the Egyptians during the reign of Pipi II, only because the sarcophagus was found next to his pyramid. A great way to determine the age. Highly scientific. This perfectly round lake is located in the Ryazan region. Its main feature, in addition to its shape, is the crystal clear water and the absence of any algae. According to official history, the lake is of meteorite origin and is clearly over 500 years old. And the lake is not on the old maps until 1865, and then it magically appears. 
and most importantly, in the samples of the lake soil, the radionuclide cesium-137 was found, which is formed, drumroll, only in the nuclear decay of uranium or plutonium. So, about 150 to 200 years ago people already had nuclear technology. But how so? The oldest photograph of Kiev shows the Nicholas Chain Bridge over the Dnieper River. This picture was taken by Englishman John Cook Bourne in 1855. But here is the strange thing. Only a year after the picture, they invented a way to melt iron like that, and high-quality steel was still far away. At the same time, the bridge stood for almost 70 years, and the supports were in place until the 1940s. The Samarangana Sutradhara is an ancient Indian manuscript, more than 2,000 years old, which described an unusual flying chariot made of lightweight material. The operation of the flying chariot was described on the principle of mercury and an iron heating device. To tell the truth, how it could work in reality, it is difficult to say. By the way, there were also found saucer-like apparatuses in one of the drawings. But many scientists said that this is how hats were depicted, nothing special. After all, soaring hats are much more real than the advanced civilization of the past. Billionaire businessman John Katsimatidis, chairman and CEO of United Refining Company, admits on April 4, 2022 interview, that oil is infinite and produced by the Earth and does not come from dead dinosaurs, as we were led to believe. Let's recall what I said last year about oil being a renewable resource. Someday we'll all learn oil isn't made from dinosaur fossils. It is naturally produced from within the Earth, like the blood within our bodies. It is a renewable resource which can never run out. The scarcity tactics is used by the elites to promote them as fossil fuel, because allegedly being fossil fuels, it means that it will run out, therefore keeping the prices high. In fact, there is almost as much underground oil as there is water here on Earth. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.